Yes. Next question. Are there any examples of the micro Muslim villages? There are lots of villages in the Muslim world. There are lots of kampung in Malaysia. If you don't believe me, wait for Hari Raya <laughs> and try to drive on the road. Huh? You get the evidence. Hari Raya, for those who are listening to the lecture, is Eid al Fitr. Hmm? Hari Raya. So, what you do is you go to a kampung, go to a village. Don't try to create a new village. No. Go to a village. And in that village, strive and struggle to establish Islam. When the Khilafah was abolished in Istanbul, there was an outstanding Islamic scholar in Turkey. His name was Saeed Nursi. And he was given the title Badi Uz Zaman. Saeed Nursi responded to the abolition of the Khilafah by recognizing that this was the work of Gog and Magog. And Sayyid Nursi gave the call for 10,000 Muslim villages in the countryside. Because he recognized that you could not save the cities. The Turkish people listened to him. Today the cities of Turkey are eating lahmul khinzir, pork, and drinking wine. And the Turkish armed forces are now allies of Israel and a part of NATO. But the Turkish countryside, because of the foresight of Said Nursi, has remained firmly Muslim. Firmly Muslim. And uh, the Prophet said, alayhi salatu wasalam, that you will conquer Constantinople. The word in the hadith is Constantinople. And because of that hadith, they changed the name of the city. Because of that hadith, they changed the name to Istanbul. I believe it was Islambul and then it became Istanbul. So that you will lose sight of this hadith. But Muhammad wasalam, referred to that city as Constantinople. And I don't see why I should not do the same. He said that you are going to conquer Constantinople. And he said, What ni'ma hadha al jaysh? Wa ni'ma hadha al amir? What a wonderful army that would be. And what a wonderful amir of that army is going to be. When Nabi Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam made prophecies and predictions of future events, they nearly always put in to akhiru zaman. And so I have come to the conclusion, and Allah knows best, that this hadith prophesying the conquest of Constantinople is a conquest that will occur in Akhir zaman And the purpose of this conquest is to extricate Constantinople from the control of NATO. NATO's control. When that happens, then the Straits, the Bosphorus, will no longer be under NATO control. Then the Russian Navy, with their nuclear-powered submarines, can now leave the Black Sea, pass through the Bosphorus, and enter the Mediterranean Sea. And when that happens, well, Israel, you better watch out. I think that's all the questions.